First tonight, Kent County Animal Control is taking away three huskies from their owner after officers say they attacked and killed a cat on Grand Rapids Northwest side. The owners of the cat say the dogs are the same ones that have attacked several animals over the last three years. 13 on your side's Lauren Baker has their story. A pair of brothers say a special feline family member, a part of their lives for 13 years. She was a stray. Started just by, you know, like feeding her uh, and she kept coming back and coming back. And then uh, eventually I kind of won my parents over. Uh, they, we, we eventually adopted her officially. Is no longer with them after what they're calling a brutal attack. You know, it's just really sad. Charlie and Harrison Rommel say their cat, Miss P, was attacked by huskies outside of their home Tuesday. They say she was sitting in her normal spot outside when the animals came by and attacked her before passerbyers stopped them. And they saw, I think, I must have been at least two just, you know, ripping apart our cat. And they stopped and they shoot them off down the street. And uh, then they stayed after. You can still see the scratch marks and fur on the ground from the attack. These brothers say they are not only upset about what happened. Dangerous to everybody now. But also that it could have been prevented. When you let them, you know, get out every month for the last three years, stuff like this is going to happen. They claim these dogs are the same ones that have been hurting animals for years. 13 on your side spoke to another pet owner a year ago when her dog was attacked by the Huskies. Kent County Animal Control confirmed three Huskies attacked the cat and are now in custody until the case is reviewed by the prosecutor's office. The brothers say the owners need to be held accountable. I don't blame the dogs. You know, dogs are going to be dogs. They're going to do what dogs do, but the owners are to be blamed. Uh, it's just negligence, you know, they keep getting out and they don't do anything about it. Because they fear if nothing is done, another animal or young child will be attacked next. Lauren, has the owner of the Huskies talked about what happened? He hasn't, Juliet. We did reach out to him about this situation and we have not heard back. Now, when we first reported about these Huskies about a year ago, the owner made a social media post apologizing for what happened, saying that he was taking steps to make sure it wouldn't happen again. No word if those things have changed. The brothers also say they and others have reached out to Animal Control about these dogs, and they did reach out to us to say that those dogs are in custody until the prosecutor has reviewed this case, Juliet. All right, Lauren, thank you for that.